Well, we're heading into the holiday season, and that means a surge in shopping and unfortunately also scams. Amy Mitchell with the Better Business Bureau is here today to talk about some of the things we should be out on the lookout for. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So a lot of people get excited during this time of year, including myself. Who doesn't love shopping? Right. And I'm already seeing online like Black Friday. I'm like, we're not even in, you know, the right month. But um, yeah, it's it's already started. Sales are already going. So when it comes to people that may want to shop online, maybe it's cheaper option for them. What are some things they need to look out for if they do make that decision? So the first thing to look out for, well, do your research, right? On a product that you're looking for, make sure you look at multiple websites to compare the prices and then be careful of things that getting into scam websites, especially during the holiday season and products that are very sought after. Um, your social media kind of already knows who you are and what you're kind of going to be looking for. So those pop-up social media ads are going to happen and some of them may be scams. So you have to be really careful what you click on. What are the, some things people can do to avoid those, would you say? So the first thing would be to check with BBB. You want to read the reviews on the company, the complaints to make sure that they're a legitimate business. Most companies you should be able to find on our website. Um, some of those newer pop-ups, so you're going to have to be really careful because we may not have reports on them. So you just have to really do your research, check those reviews, check BBB, and make sure you're dealing with a reputable company. When you go to press that purchase, purchase button, you want to make sure the top says HTTPS with the lock symbol before you click pay. That way you know your credit card information is secure. No, good information. So if you choose not to shop online, what are some other scams that people need to know about, maybe even in the stores? Well, you have to be careful with stores, um, especially with advertising sales. So some of them are going to be doorbusters where you can only get it for a limited time, and those sales are very direct when those time frame. So if you're going to do it in the store and you're looking for a specific product, you have to be careful that the, the sale times apply and all of those fun things. Yeah, no, you can really end up racking up a lot of money. You can. And um, a lot of times people may want to do a seasonal job during this time of year. What's your recommendation with that? There are gonna be lots of seasonal jobs available. But be careful, retail is the number one that you're going to find jobs for. At this time of year, we see scams for things like stuffing envelopes, answering phones. Well, how do you know, though? You have to be careful. Like right now, the temporary jobs most are going to be retail, so be looking for that. Anything that seems too good to be true, it probably is. So, you know, if you are looking at something stuffing envelopes, you're probably going to be making less than $15 an hour. So keep that in mind. If the price, you know, per hour is really high for a, a low it's job. It's misleading. Yes, exactly. All right. Amy Mitchell, thanks for joining us. Thank as you. always with the Better Business Bureau.